आकाश भोरा सूर्य तारा विश्व भरा प्राणी मे आमी पे आमी पे मोर स्थान विषय जागे जागे अमर गकाश भोरा असीम काले जेहलो ने जो बार भाटा भुबंदो ने असीम काले जेहलो ने नारी से मोर रक्त धारा the University of Toronto for several years has uh, been the host of a course on Rabindranath Tagore the noted Indian poet and educator and uh, this fall in November thanks to the Chancellor Jackman program for the arts in the University of Toronto a three-day conference was held entitled Claiming a Cultural Icon, Interpretations and Misrepresentations of Rabindranath Tagore. One of the important constituents of this conference was an exhibit, an exhibit that you can see behind me now that was curated by Mr. and Mrs. Neil Audrey Charki and Ranu Charki. Neeler and Ranu in the past have uh, curated other exhibits, but this is surely the best, the most sophisticated of them. There was a wonderful opening of this exhibit uh, back on the 11th of November, but now we have a chance to look at it more quietly, and Neil Audrey and Ranu will take you through this. Before that, I'm going to ask my wife, Dr. Kathleen O'Connell, who has been the instructor at New College, the instructor in the course on Rabindranath Tagore for a number of years, to say a few things about why she feels that Rabindranath Tagore is a person who is uh, deserving of all the attention that he's been given in this conference, claiming a cultural icon, interpretations and misrepresentations of Rabindranath Tagore. Kathleen O'Connell? Well, one of our goals in uh, creating this exhibit, the, the Chalkies, and of uh, planning this conference on Tagore has to been been to raise consciousness about the personality and tremendous range of Tagore's uh, talents. He gained the Nobel Prize in 1913 for a book called Gitanjali, which is an offering of songs. And his image in the West has been very much associated with that book and as a figure who's a mystic and a poet. And there really has not been that much understanding of the multifaceted contribution that Tagore has made. So, as I said, one of the purposes of the conference was to draw attention to Tagore's contribution to education, to politics, to painting, to music. Uh, my own specialty is Tagore's education, and um, I've done research on his school at Shantaniketan, which was founded in 1901. Uh, Tagore's educational concept is still unique and hasn't been fully realized. He very much concentrated on developing the full potential of, of the individual child uh, within a social setting. And he placed great emphasis upon the arts, uh, upon having children uh, be exposed to the natural environment on a daily basis where they could observe the seasons and the changes in nature. Um, and then it evolved into a, a university and Tagore began inviting scholars from around the world uh, with an emphasis on mutual understanding and the creation of oh, peace in the and harmony in the world, but he believed this all had to be done on a small scale. So 
this was uh, one thing that we've been trying to do. And uh, Neil Audrey and Ranu have put so much work into this beautiful exhibit. Uh, of the history of Shantanikaitan. You can notice some of the, uh, this painting was made by a little girl in Shantanikaitan that's uh, illustrating the outdoor school. And you can see the uh, richness of the culture around Shantanikaitan. Uh, this exhibition is on the life and creative work of Tagore. It is extremely difficult to do any exhibition on a person who is so vast, so boundless, but we tried. Uh, we divided the whole exhibition in 16 panels, started with uh, uh, Tagore and nationalism, uh, and then we went over Tagore and Gandhi, impact of Gitanjali in 1912, Tagore's uh, life, the whole life story of Tagore, and song, Santanikatan and Srinikatan. But there are 16 panels you will find here, and I can assure you, uh, there are so many things in Toronto, has got a good connection. Uh, one of the books published from Toronto in 1988 on Tagore heritage, Tagore heritage in, in Canada. It's a very wonderful collection of aces and everything. Anyway, uh, Joe said, well, um, uh, why these exhibitions are here. But anyway, I will take you there. Please come with me. Thank you. Now we are starting with the Tagore and nationalism. This is the whole panel on that same point. Here we give the introduction of Tagore's life and why it is important to study his life uh, in this part of the century. And here, this is a, uh, a song. Tagore composed these songs in 1927 and dedicated to Lord Buddha, Hingshayun Matta Prithivi and Hingshai Matta Pritti, and it is uh, uh, the last few lines, O serene, O free, in thine immeasurable mercy and God goodness, wipe away all dark stains from the heart of this earth. And this is the way we also portrayed here the, the different aspect of Tagore nationalism, and uh, it is uh, some from Helen Keller, Albert Einstein, Albert Schweitzer, and Jawaharlal Nehru, what is very important, I believe, uh, it is, one time he says, Tagore has given to our nationalism the outlook of internationalism. I think it is a very important part of that. But here I like to mention one thing is here. This is, this is a version of Gitanjali. Uh, a person called George Mackenzie published this film Toronto in 1913, August 1913 four months before Tagore received Nobel Prize. This is a very important thing because before receiving Nobel Prize, somebody published a version of Gitanjali from Toronto, which is very important. What he did, he transcreated all the blank verse of Tagore into verse and published this small booklet. And, and these are other things, a few books and everything on Tagore. Uh, written by Tagore and all the translated work done in the last 20 years in different parts of the world. Akash Bhora Shurja Tara Vishu Bhara Pran Tahari Madhkane Ami Pechi Ami pethi murthan bishaye Tai jage Jage amar gaan Akash bhora Asim kale Jehilo le Jovar bhaata Bandole Asim Kale Jehilole Jovar Bhata Bubandole Nari Temur. Okay, so this is the panel 
uh, uh, number two, which is the impact of Gitanjali in the United Kingdom in 1912. This is a this is a photograph of uh, Tagore in 1912, and this is the next year, 1913, where he received Nobel Prize. And this is the way, what impact, you know, uh, everybody knows about W.B. Yeats' uh, description of Tagore and what he said, I have carried the manuscript of this translation about with me for days, you know. What happened uh, to him when he read, you know, sometimes he couldn't control his emotion after reading Gitanjali. And also, uh, all the translation of Gitanjali uh, Andre Jed, the French translation of Gitanjali, uh, he said, the last poems of Gitanjali are written in praise of death. I do not think I know of more somber and more beautiful accent in any literature. And also the same thing, uh, you know, Japanese Gitanjali writer Shuko Watanabe also said this thing. And uh, the first William, this is the William, uh, sketch by William Rudenstein. Uh, it is the home of William Rudenstein, where Tagore read his uh, Gitanjali before W.B. Yeats and everybody. And luckily, Charles Fears and Drew was also present there, you know. And William Rudenstein arranged for the publication of Gitanjali by the India Society, London in 1912, and later by Macmillan and Company in 1913. It was reprinted ten times before the award of the Nobel Prize on 13 November 1913. And Gitanjali was dedicated to Rodenstein, who we really like, you know, in that sense, you know. And this is the way it is. The whole impact, I wanted to say, m many of the Gitanjali's poems uh, had been translated uh, in Sri Lai Daho, now in Bangladesh, this is the house in Sri Lai Daho. You know, and, and this is Patisha and all other places. This is the third panel on Tagore and Gandhi title. Uh, see, there are many disagreements between them on political field, but they were very close friends to each other and they supported each other to the last day of Tagore's life. Not only that, uh, before Tagore expired in 1941, during this visit, Tagore and uh, uh, Gandhi and Kusturabai, and all of them sitting there, during this visit, Tagore requested him, Gandhi, Tagore requested Gandhi to take care of the Shantiriketan after his death, and which really uh, Gandhi accepted that one, and that's for all the reason. Uh, in 1950, uh, the university became a national university, Vishabharati, you know, and uh, this is the way it is, and uh, they had a profound respect for each other, Gandhi and Tagore. Tagore told about Gandhi that Mahatma Gandhi has shown us a way which, if we follow, shall not only save ourselves, but also help other peoples to save themselves. And Gandhi told about Tagore, in common with thousands of his countrymen, I owe much to one who by his poetic genius and singular purity of life has raised India in the estimation of the world. We are thankful to both of them, Tagore and Gandhi, for India, what is today. Akash Bhaura, Shurja Tara, Vishwara Pran, Tahari Madhane, Ami Pechi, Ami Pechi Mursan Bishaye, Tai Jage, Jage Amar Gaan, 
Okay, this is the panel number four, which is the chronology of Tagore's life and his work. This is the complete volume of Rabindra Rachanaburi, the creative, you know, uh, what should I say, all the volumes of Tagore creativity. And, and this is some English translation, English work of Tagore compiled by Shahita Academy. And, and uh, very important, and this is the way in this house Tagore was born. And this is the life and time of Tagore uh, in, from 1861 and uh, 1941 when he died. And, uh, but, but most important, all the important events are mentioned here uh, as per years. But what, what we feel, we have given a couple of events before, before uh, Tagore was born. As for example, 1855, Vidya Shagur, Vidya published his uh, uh, book, uh, The Marriage of Hindu Widow. And in 1856, The Marriage of Hindu Widow became a law. Now, 1857, uh, Indian mutiny uh, shook the whole Indian subcontinent. And 1858, the British crown uh, took over for the East India Company. Then 1859, Michael Madhusudan Dutta write the epic uh, Shormista, the drama. And 1860, Dinavandil Mitra publishes uh, uh, publishes drama uh, Neil Darpan against the ast astrocities created by the indigo planters. Then 1861, Michael Madhusudan Dutta compose. Meghnath Madhkabha, the Bengali literature's first original epic, written in blank verse. And in the same year, a little boy was born in the house of Devendranath Thakur, and uh, Devendranath named his boy Ravindranath. This is the starting point, uh, you know. Then we have all the chronology of Tagore's life. And this is the last birthday of Tagore, and uh, in 1861, and uh, in this birthday, Tagore delivered his famous speech, The Crisis of Civilization. Uh, and in that speech, he said, losing faith in man is a grievous sin. And this is the Tagore's writing table uh, in Shamali. This is Shamali house, mud house, designed by Nandalal Bosch and others. And, and this is the uh, manuscript of Tagore, and the original copy we have here in Toronto. And, and there are other, some translation of Tagore songs and uh, poetries. And this is a very old uh, Crescent Moon book published in 1913-14, around that time. And uh, this, this copy was uh, given to us for the Fisher Real Book Library. We are thankful to them. Akash Bhora Shurja Tara Vishwabhara Okay. This is the panel on Shanti Niketan, Sri Niketan. Uh, it is very difficult to portray this thing in a single panel, but we are trying to do that. Uh, this is the part of Sri Niketan. Uh, this is the potteries are made in Sri Niketan. This is a rural uh, uh, development project. And this is the batik was done in Shanti Niketan, uh, Sri Niketan also. And this, uh, uh, this portrait of Tagore is done in China. It is handloom on silk. It's a very interesting thing. Uh, I don't think there are many pieces like that in, the, uh, in China or India. Uh, and this is the first class in 1905 or 1901. They got started this school in 1901. And uh, during that time, and we are very fortunate to have few people uh, from the Western countries uh, who helped Tagore building this university and everything. One of them is Charles Fuhr Andrews and um, uh, Leonard Amherst who sketches there. Uh, he was the person 
beside Tagore when uh, Tagore created Sriniketan, the rural construction, reconstruction project and all this type of thing. And, and this is the dress owned by, worn by uh, the boys and girls of Patuhabon Junior School. Okay, this is this is the panel on the songs of Tagore, and it is most important part, I believe, because uh, the Tagore songs created so much impact in Bengali's life. Humayun Kabir, at one time minister, central minister, um, he wrote about Tagore, and he said uh, that, that that his songs is the national asset of our country. Now, this is the portion, Tagore was very much influenced with Baul songs, you know, and this, this, uh, this Baul instrument came from Bangladesh, Bikrampur, and this is from the uh, North India, uh, pieces, I'm sorry, North Bengal Baul pieces, and uh, this is a, uh, one is Robi Baul, and this is from Abhinandana Tagore, and the blind Baul um, he painted, and this is uh, in uh, nine, 1881, Tagore in the, Lord, in, the, in the role of Balmiki in Balmiki Pratitha. And this, this one, this was in Ceylon, which is Sri Lanka now. Uh, Tagore was performing uh, with his groove some dance drama. And this is, uh, this is a very interesting piece of Tagore's songs, Akash Bharashud Jatara. Uh, this we found from Komal Ganther, subtitles of the movies from Komal Ganther by Ritik Ghatak. And, and, and these are the songs here. Uh, some famous well-known people in the dance uh, and songs of Tagore like Suchitra Mitra, Rajeshwari Dhatta, Devarbhada Vishesh, Kodika Mandapathai, Kalim Sarafi and many others. And these are the younger generation of the, of the singers now. Uh, and these are some of the things uh, translated by, from the original Bengali by different person. And, and this is uh, this is a very interesting piece. Okay, a small group of uh, villager came to Konika Pantavadhai and honored him with a sketch and, and this citation uh, with a singer sketch. You know, and, and this is the way we know how much it is all Bengali peoples are moved with Tagore songs and this is the uh, notation of Tagore song in English uh, for piano players uh, published in France many years ago. I think, no, no sorry, this is for Shahita Academy. This was published by Shahita Academy. And this is interesting, this one, a group of church people, Unity of Light Church, uh, they portrayed Gitanjali songs in their church hymn, you know. And they had a big, uh, in Markham Theatre in 1989, they had a program on that. In the same year, uh, National Valley of Canada, they portrayed, uh, they choreographed 12 songs from Songs Offering. It was in 1989, uh, and that was a wonderful thing we had there. And, and this is the uh, photograph of Tomani Matir Konna, which was adapted from Tagore's stand drama Chandanika, and it is choreographed by, by Munjushi Chakisharka. Akash <laughs> 
भरा प्राण तहारे माने हमी पे हमी पे मोर स्थान विषय गाय जागे जागे अमर गकाश भरा असीम काले जेहलो ने This is the panel of Tagore's painting. Until now, you saw the paintings of Tagore, paintings and and the poetry created by Tagore during the last four years of his life. Now, this is the actual uh, the paintings panel. Okay. Now, Tagore started painting at the age of 70. He started doing scribbling first on his poetry manuscript, and he started painting. And, and then he started enormous amount of painting. In 1930, uh, he had more than 10 exhibition in Europe uh, and part of Russia and, and USA. And also, uh, this is this is the photograph of Tagore's painting in France, Paris, France. And beside Tagore is sitting is Victoria Ocampo. Uh, Tagore dedicated um, his book Purobi. Victoria Ocampo, and actually uh, he met her in Argentina, Buenos Aires, and at, at the few faces of Tagore's painting, and Shortlistre once indicated that the, 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 the piercing eyes of Tagore's women are amazing. You know, but it is so intense. You know, and also I found uh, that in, in the book of Denise Reid. She suggested Tagore uh, uh, was in Vancouver at that time. One of the Canadian painters, uh, uh, he was exposed. Fred Hurley, he was exposed to the idea of Tagore, and it influenced him so much. And one wonders whether uh, the, the two paintings, like Vira and Dharana, done in 1931 or 32, uh, by Uh, Fred Verley, whether it has got any effects on him by Tagore when he created uh, those paintings. Okay, this is the panel on Bengali language and literature. Uh, this is the history of Bengali literatures, uh, starting from Chorjapat, which is uh, around uh, uh, 1,000 years ago. Uh, and to up to Tagore, and uh, this is the genealogical tree of Bengali language. Uh, from Indo-European language, one branch goes to English, German, Dutch, Norwegian, Swedish, and other branch came to Indo-Iranian, uh, and finally uh, it came to Bengali, Hindi, Gujarati, Marathi, Nepali, Punjabi, and others. Okay, and now at this moment. Bengali language is the fifth largest language of the world. Uh, this is amazing, and these are the few books published uh, between uh, 1700 to 1800 that time, uh, like grammar by Hal Head and Ram Ram Bosu, uh, Pratamadita Chowdhury, and other things, you know, by William Carey and others. And these are the few books which is very important, like Marriage of Hindu Widow. By Ishtar Chandra Vidyar Shankar, which I mentioned before, and here uh, Tagore composed uh, actually uh, the national anthem of Bangladesh and India. They are both composed by Tagore, and, and um, in 1905, during the uh, partition and uh, uh, agitation against the partition of Bengal, 
they got created a version on Bangla, Oh My Golden Bengal, and it was first sung in this house in 1905 in August. Uh, that is a town hall, and also Indian national anthem also created by Tagore. And very interestingly, I'd like to say, during the uh, massacre in Punjab by General Dyer, you know, and uh, uh, Tagore discarded his sad title, you know, the knighthood. He discarded his knighthood, uh, and it is mentioned on the other side of the panel. This is the panel on Tagore's drama. Tagore's drama created a real impact in Bengali life. Not only that, Tagore's uh, drama, Post Office, about a, a, a little boy who was sick and who was dying. And that drama created a real impact in, in England in 1914. It is Post Office. And not only that, uh, this, that uh, uh, this, it is so much peace there. It was read over Radio France the evening before Paris fell to the Nazis. And also it was performed by children in, in an orphanage in Warsaw Ghetto in the early 1940s. And uh, so this is the post office, the original uh, in 1914 uh, volume of post office. And this is a drama of all Tagore's drama uh, created by Bohurupi under Shumhumitra Tifimitra. This is very important. Quite a few dramas are here. And there is movies made by uh, different directors like Shatyajit Ray on Tagore's drama, uh, I mean Tagore's novels and, and uh, short stories like post, uh, Postmasters and others. And this is a very important factor. Uh, this is a, uh, in, 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 in its, somewhere in early or in late 1800, this is Bishar John, uh, and Tagore was in the role of Rokhupati. The Bishar John drama uh, was about the religion's intolerance, uh, and Tagore was very much against any intolerance in religion. Tagore created many secular festivals. As for example, Holi is a semi-religious festival in India, but Tagore created Bashantutshav, which is a festival of color, very close to that. And there's a few, uh, few photographs of Shantiniketan that Bashantutshav. And, and the polish full they wear, the deep orange polish flower they wear during this time, and playing with uh, singing and dancing all the way. And, and this is, uh, and also, beside Vashant Utsav, which is Festival of Spring, uh, there are Brikharupan Utsav, which is the tree planting ceremony, Kshitsa Utsav, which is celebration uh, of the birth of Christ. It is always done on 25th of night. And this is the Nandan Mala. Nandan Mala, is, they have a big fear that students of the uh, art college, uh, Kuala Bhavan of Shantani Ketan. Uh, and and uh, there's really wonderful manner I have ever, one of the wonderful manners I have ever seen. Uh, this is the Sri Nikatan Gram. We are talking about the Rural Development Center. This is the Sri Nikatan Gram. And our villagers who are making those things and we bought from the Sri Nikatan uh, village. And uh, this is the receiving blanket when a new baby is born uh, and they make this even blanket out of the old shari's, you know, this is one of them and the toys from the village and this is Shantal, which is the tribal people around Shantaniketan and this is their uh, outwards, you know, the, the top and bottom, it is called uh, Panchi Parang and they wear those things and this is the jewelries made by the uh, tribal people around Shatimikatan. This is about, in Porsche Mela, which is uh, around 23rd of December, it ran for three or four days. Uh, 
all the bowls, you know, there's an, uh, the singers, uh, wanderer singers, uh, they don't really believe in any religion and their religion is the, as a man inside, you know. And this is, this is, they have their akra or gathering of bowls and they sing and uh, with this uh, musical theme called One String, Ektara, they are singing with these bowls, you know, on, on, and there's a gathering of bowls, they are coming from all over Bilhums and other parts of Bengal. Okay, this is Poshmala, and uh, this is, a, you know, I said uh, in 23rd December, there are hundreds of small shops, you know, they're sitting on the grass and selling things, and this is the, and it's very interesting, all these wooden utensils there, made of, you know, uh, uh, woods, and uh, they're selling the spotteries and jewelries and everything, and it, it is, the whole thing is a wonderful, place, uh, Poshmala. So we term this Poshmala revisited. In Toronto we are trying to create a portion of Poshmala here. Akash Bhaura Shurja Tara Vishwara Tahari Madhane Ami Pechi Ami Pechi